Hello everyone and welcome to week 42 of Roleplay Solo. My name is JP McDaniel, joined by the rest of the cast. It's time to find out what they've been up to. Jeff, we spoke with you last night. Uh, what was the... There was something major that we talked about. We spent it most of the time on you. I don't know if any... Oh, Warhammer maybe? That's what you're doing soon? Yeah. Got a term this weekend. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else that's happened in the past 24 yeah. hours? My dog got diarrhea last night, so that's been a lot of fun. Been uh... Nice. We got the shit smell out of the apartment finally, which is great. That's tough. Um, <laughs> I woke up. You know, I, I woke up the other day and my my roommate's dog uh, had done that. And he did always, he choose your room? No, no. My I sleep with my door shut. Uh, he okay. always he always does it after my roommate leaves. So I wake up to the smell of bacon and eggs mixed with <laughs> diarrhea. I can't. I, I actually can't imagine. And that. I'm actually mean. quite confused as if I'm enjoying what I'm smelling. Or absolutely hating it. So that was my morning uh, two days ago. So that was fun. Yeah, about the same. I I, uh, I wake up really quick, and I woke up to the smell of shit. Yeah, it's and that's not that good. It's just like when you know your friend fights at a bar. You go from being drunk to like whoop, sober. I, I I was like waking up. I'm awake. Oh god. Yeah. Where is it? That's not a <laughs> fart. That's poop. So he's fine. <laughs> he he chewed a bone, and and some bone fragments got in his stomach, and he's a super sensitive stomach. So. Uh, just medication and different food, and he'll be okay. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Uh, how's the... What, what's been going on with the lizard? Is he just hanging out? He just fucking chills out, man. Is chills he just, out. He's is he low maintenance? Super low maintenance, other than 10 crickets a day, which is kind of a lot. But, um, yeah, you, you take him out and hold him. He only likes me. He doesn't like anybody else. Uh, he gets kind of mad at them. Which, for a lizard's cool. If it was a dog, that'd be super annoying. But as a yeah. lizard, it's like, yeah... He only likes me. I like that. Yeah, uh, he'll protect you when that burglar comes in, right? <laughs> he's he's pretty scary. He would you, not. You pour but, the uh, secret ooze on him, and then he comes to life. I've heard that's how it works. I hope so. That'd be amazing. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I just chill. You know, had a good time on Swan Song yesterday and looking for some solve. It's going to be awesome. Cool stuff. Uh, it's been about a month. I haven't really talked to, to Ryan Jenner Neil, so let's find out. Really? Ryan, what have you been up to, man? What's up, man? Um... First off, it's good to be back. I missed all you guys. It's been a hot minute since we played. But um, I actually, like, legit raged for the first time on Ooh. my stream. Uh, oh, shit. Ryan raged. Gaming. Um, was it over Heroes? No, the whole thing. No, it was not. It was not. It was over uh, a single-player game, which is surprising because I almost never wow. play single-player games. I was well, playing either. a game called Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Oh, okay. I've heard of this. I've... It's a hardcore roguelike. If you die, your character's dead. So you probably and die. it involves like intense thinking processes and like you know you. So uh, anyway, I'm trying to beat the game and I'm doing like a. Um, it was like a 12, 13 hour stream marathon. I am about 30 minutes from beating the game. I'm on the last part. Um. And I've got, like, all the hard stuff done, just the last part. And, like, I grab the orb, which you need to leave the game and, like, sort of finally win. And um, How many hours? And JP breaks it. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. like I, was in, I was in 15 out of 16 hours oh, God. of the game. Like, like okay. hardcore, you can't die. This was on a 24-hour stream? No, I it just I was playing the game and then I just got addicted, man. And then I just, it was just, it turned into a long stream. Okay. I don't know, it just oh, happened. Gotcha. And um, so, like, I'm trying. So, like, you have to grab the orb and escape with it. I grab it and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to escape. And I start escaping and it spawns all these monsters. And instead of, like, just taking my time because it's turn based, I just start moving real fast. And, um, like, I, came, I come very close to dying and I, like, punch the shit out of my desk. I'm really pissed. Um, <laughs> but you didn't Wait, even die. Ain't very close to dying? I didn't die. I, I actually beat the game. What? But I was very, very close to it, and I was what in such a dire fuck? situation. This, I'm, I, I was like almost raged, finished, man. and then you're just like, "Oh yeah, you smacked the desk." But then I lived. I'm like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> I can't right. finish so, that, man. Okay, yes, I didn't die. I did beat the game, but it was oh! insanely, insanely salt inducing. This is the this dumbest, dumbest story. Uh, all right, all right. I know you guys want to hear. All right, Queens, all right. I know you want to hear that I died. Just like. Oh, and then he beat the game. It's like, that's Ryan's So game. I sold my shares, and I made $78 million, <laughs> but if I would have sold it a week later, I'd make 79.5. <laughs> <laughs> God. 
God. That is the Note worst self, story. Only tell tragic stories if you said uh, it that this way. Do you guys yeah. sympathize with my near, my, my close, <laughs> my brush with with uh, tragedy? What the fuck, man? I almost was was frustrated about something. And I, God. <laughs> no, I was frustrated because I thought at 15 hours into the 16 hour run that I was going to. That must have been so awkward just, on your stream, yeah. man. I got to go, so, like, guys. For it's viewers, been, you just, like, I'm, rage, and then you just, like, walk two steps. Oh, I beat it. No, no, no. And I then didn't it's, like, walk normal. two steps. It's still, I still like, 20 minutes to go, but I, like, fucking raged, and then I calmed down and, like, got my head about me, and then I moved on. I guess in the chill life of Ryan, this is a rage story. Like in yeah. The I mean, I, I, the rage was felt from my end. I mean, it was definitely super rage-inducing. I'm excited yeah, for you to probably his favorite actual is when you do fail to beat a game like that. And <laughs> yeah. I want to then tell us about that rage. You still need to play Dark Souls. I have played Dark Souls. I know, so, okay. but you know, you haven't, you've played it, but you haven't played Dark Souls. I've played Dark Souls at the end of a 24-hour <laughs> stream, and my fucking viewers are like, let's count each time he dies, and then they just count it in chat. And yeah. each time I'm dying in like 23 That's hours of the stream... Now. And I'm just like, motherfucker. And On all those games, donated most, I got pretty salty about that game. Man. Most streamers have like a, uh, a death counter on screen now because people enjoy like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. How many has it been I for you, it. Is it is it like literally 100? For what? Bloodborne? Yeah. Uh, I've only played four hours and I think it's around like eight. Oh, okay. It gets harder though, I guess, right? This time yeah, time. yeah. Like I, I've only done one boss and I two shot him, so. I watched Man vs. Game play a boss, and I don't really watch the stream, but one night I just did, and then I got stuck, because he was on the same boss for three days. Oh, oh you're talking about Wings of Vi. V. It was it was like Dark Souls. I don't know what it was, but it was... Yeah, so wing, Wings of... Uh, he did 67, 68 hours on the same boss in Wings of V. I watched it. I watched yeah. it a day of it. And then he went, it was like two weeks of streaming. Uh, when he finally beat it, he actually was like crying. And it was a pretty cool moment. Because <laughs> like, that was his stream. And like he had lost viewers and like people weren't yeah. subscribing. And like it was just a bad stream of I have to beat this and I will not do anything else until I do. Yeah. You it was do. amazing. And he actually doesn't, he doesn't get that mad either. Like I watched it, I watched like seven hours of it, of him just dying over and over it again. It turns he into never... a depression, I think. From oh. from the outside looking at, I think it's depression. I have absolutely no idea, but it looks like it is. Because <laughs> he just gets quiet and like I don't know, I don't know how someone does that though. That uh, that you should watch the end of that vod though if you can find it. I think it's actually on his highlights uh, on his channel, so you should definitely check that out. I'll have to check it out. Uh, Ryan, anything else besides you got any other shitty raid stories? No, I, I, I so I completed my fifteen rune run in that game. Um, I've been playing a bunch of heroes. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Just you can do uh, Heroes of the Dorm or whatever? What is that? Oh, God, Ryan. Really? God I know Heroes it. of the Storm. I don't How? know the Dorm thing. How do they not, like, you're like their core thing. I guess you already graduated, but. You can still make money, though. Even if you I'm not in college, if that's, it sounds like a college. Heroes thing. of the Dorm is like a, uh, it's a esports competition. With it helps pay off bills that you've already, like, if you have. Yeah, bills for school, colleges. Go pay it. Yeah. Uh, I paid off my student loans too. So, oh, fuck work. off, Ryan. My dear, you're, <laughs> you're I'm fluffy, sorry. innocent <laughs> life. This guy. <laughs> Look at this guy paying off his debts and shit. What an idiot. <laughs> almost got mad on stream because he almost lost a game. I did get mad. I hit my desk, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I don't think Ryan can actually get mad. No, I don't think so either. He claims it. <laughs> he probably was... just bumped his fist into the... Into the I think I've seen Ryan upset at like, <laughs> like an MLG oh, before. Shit. Like doing <laughs> when Ryan's doing some refing, I think I've seen him up. I've come up to him and he's just been like, don't talk to oh, me yeah. right now. Yeah. I've been yeah. busy as fuck at MLG. Maybe that's what that is. I'm super busy, but yeah. Yeah, we had know. when we did the, we the Ryan MLG Ryan. role play, I remember he was mad because some guy yelled at him just before that. I wasn't able to participate because I was working. Right. Oh yeah, Adam was like, "No, you're working, Ryan. You can't. Yeah. <laughs> you can't go play D and D with JP." I do remember that. That was quite funny. Yeah. Uh, cool. Cool. What are you? What are you playing on stream next? Are you still? You, did you play Sylvanas or whatever? Isn't that the newest hero? Uh, I haven't purchased her. I don't have enough gold for. Her. 
I might be playing her. That like we're gonna Wait, do how a much is, is she twenty bucks? What she cost? She, I don't know. Fifteen thousand um, coins. I don't know what she costs. Probably twenty. Yeah, but um, we're doing like a three-hour show tonight, right? So yes. I'll probably stream some heroes after this. Cool, cool. Jen, what's up? How's it going? Good, good. It's been a while, huh? Yeah, it's been like a month. Uh, I am. Yeah, you traveled again. Yeah, that was cool. That. Actually, it wasn't that cool for me. I got super sick. I got food poisoning. So I was two days like lying in bed in a little like like this. Yeah, it wasn't nice. You got wrecked, is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, I got wrecked. Wrecked okay. by Polish food. But there's a Polish sausage joke in there somewhere. But I'm just gonna let it. it, was, it was <laughs> <laughs> what else? What uh, else? Besides that, I've been playing a lot of Dota and Hearthstone. Lots and lots of Dota. I'm really liking the game, really. Cool. Um, What's your uh, your M M? Isn't the MMR how people? Yep. Talk about how big their penis is in that game. I suck. So I it's suck. like it's like a small MMR. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's like it's it's, it's small. Okay. It's like two point five k. It's really bad. I'm. I need to get better at this. It's solo queue though, I, so I got shit teammates. So I'll blame everyone else, obviously. Are you? And I also I also random, so I will also blame it on randoming. So obviously I'm like five k or something. Well, you're badding with your hands tied together, man. What are you doing? You gotta, you yeah. gotta play like one character and queue with queue with bros. Yeah, yeah, and get carried. Yep. Get the MMR um, up. Besides that. Oh, I had something terrible and great and terrible happen to me. Uh, if, okay, don't set the story up like Ryan did, because now <laughs> we're expecting terribleness. No, it's terrible. It's disappointing, really. Okay. So, I was in this Poker Stars Touch program, uh, and the end prize was to go to EPT Malta, uh -huh. like the big poker tournament at the end. Like, they would fly you out, pay your buy-in. What pay your the hotel, fuck? Yeah. VIP. Buy you in? Do you get to keep the money? Yeah, and you get to oh keep the money. Oh my god. And, they, and there was like a VIP boat ride and party. and. Jen, video. you fucked this up? Ah, so there was so. like 32 participants in this program. And guess who's the three people that got selected? I was one of them, and I won one of the little tournaments for like 65 bucks. And then I couldn't leave because uh, it was conflicting with my work. Because we have an alpha coming up that got announced for Rainbow Six Siege, so we have so much work that I cannot leave. Do you see, Ryan? See, now that's... That's a pretty good... That's a fucked yeah. up situation, Ryan. Yeah. That's really sucky. That's Buy really into a major tournament where she could have made millions of dollars, but instead she's stuck doing her 9 to 5, making a meager... Million yeah. dollars. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I, I stayed up. You guys have some really, really bad, <laughs> like, of rage and, like, shitty... Look... Yeah. None of us have shitty lives, so we just have to like come up with it. <laughs> all right, we gotta you make got, it you seem gotta, like we you do. You gotta embellish. You gotta embellish. <laughs> no, like, I like my job, though. I like my job. Neil's gonna be like, I live in Vietnam, and then we're just gonna be like, whoa, <laughs> whoa. You gotta come. I down. saw a man die yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know of pain? I, I mean, just killed him. <laughs> There's very frequently dead dogs floating in the lake next to my house. Yeah, I believe that. That's just that's breakfast dinner. for the that's next day, man. Dinner. Or yeah, dinner, exactly. Yeah. Depends on how hungry you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make fun of the local cuisine. Oh, God. Uh, I, I haven't tried dog yet, but there's a place right next to my house that sells it. What's the name of it? Does it have a clever dog oh, theme name? I have no name? fucking idea. It, no, it's literally like some woman's just got a cart. Is it named it The dog, dog Days Are Over? Because if not, I think I need to talk to you about a business uh, opportunity, Neil. <laughs> In we'll Vietnam. talk after the stream. Okay. In Vietnam, we'll yeah. open up Dog Days Are Over and sell dog. Oh, it'll be great. Uh, other than that, I had like dengue fever or scarlet fever or something like that. And Can't was... you die from that? Yeah. Yes. What the Especially fuck? You're what? A man. Neil, you almost died? <laughs> No, no, no. I had the mild version, so I just had Neil like... Neil almost died confirmed. <laughs> it was like 102 fever for three days, and then just, you know... I love really how, scared. like, we. I set up this long story about almost dying in a video game. Jen's like, I got a free tournament buy-in, and then Neil's like, yeah, I almost died, just like casually mentioning it, not even building it up, and he had the worst part of it. Also a reason to rage quit, Ryan, in case we're keeping <laughs> track here. And then 
My <laughs> wife got it, and so she took care of me for a few days, and then I took she care of her. She almost died, days, too? Oh, my God. And then my internet's been out, so I haven't been able to stream in, like, a month, and... You know, whatever, so like, basically, just... Vietnam's been amazing, is I guess what you can call it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not if you want to sh do anything online internationally. Uh, mm. I wouldn't recommend moving to Vietnam if you want to stream things. <laughs> oh, we've also got another... Yeah. We have a bid for the name, call, calling it Vietnams. That's oh, weird. Vietnam would be good. Vietnams, like N-O-M-S. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Mm, that's pretty good. But uh, it's not dog-themed. So maybe we just have yeah. a sign that we flip around when we can't find good dog. I've been thinking of puns since you said that. Yeah. What do you got? I got nothing so far, but okay. give me a minute. It'll come out. All right. All right. Uh, we kind of jumped to Neil. Jen, was there anything else? Well, since I'm staying here for the alpha, you guys might as well register so that you can get to play with me. How many people are you actually letting in? Like five? Uh, we didn't reveal that. Is this an alpha alpha, or is this like an alpha that's actually a beta? No, it's an alpha alpha. We also announced a beta, actually. Can you sign up for that as well? people can also register. Yeah, they can also register for if that. If I sign they're... up for the alpha, am I already signed up for the beta? Yes. Okay. All right. Yes. So you can register to the closed alpha that's PC only, or for the beta that's also that's open to consoles as well. And Xbox. when does the game ship? What's the date? 2015. <laughs> okay, you're media trained. I like it. I like it. I, they didn't even media train me. They should, because I mean, it's pretty bad to let me talk like this. Well, you're the one talking. About it on the show. I'm just being yeah, a dick and asking the questions. Every time I get asked questions, questions I'm like, Ooh, don't fuck up. <laughs> yeah, we'll put you through the ringer every episode. Um, well, cool. When, when, uh, what's the website for the alpha? Uh, rainbow6.com. Rainbow6.com. Go sign up. Is it Xbox One only, or is it, what? What's the platform? The Alpha is on PC only. Oh and shit. And then the Beta is PC, Xbox One, PS4. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, Neil, what's been going on besides the uh, the Scarlet Fever? Uh, that and internet issues, and that's about it. Short and simple. What did you do last time? You like oh you went on a vacation last time did you go on any vacations you have to bribe any cops this time no bri cop bribing mm. um it's not fun no i've literally just been like bedridden or watching movies because i couldn't use the internet how did you get where did the scarlet uh, i thought fucking mosquitoes man fucking mosquitoes oh oh yeah, oh, yeah. so are you my like my wife and i have kind that? of a mosquito killing competition going on the most anyone's gotten in a day has been 10 but she's pretty good. Can't you just get those candles? What? What the? Tiki These torches? are Vietnamese mosquitoes we're talking about, man. They don't fuck around. They, they in swarm Vietnam. in mass, and they don't give a shit about anything. Jesus Christ! How big are they? The size of normal mosquitoes? Yeah, they're they're about the same size as normal mosquitoes. It's Being just that, that it's not America, I picture like giant, like five foot long mosquitoes just flying around like Godzilla or something. That's not no, 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 no. The difference is that you step outside and you're like, oh, my laundry, which you have to hang outside because there's no real, like, dryers here. You're like, oh, my laundry, I'm going to just take it off. And you pull the laundry off of the line, you know, in the day, but that's where all the mosquitoes live. So as soon as you pull the laundry off the line, a swarm of, like, 20 or 30 mosquitoes will come off of it and swarm around you. It's fucking Jesus terrifying. Jesus Christ. Yeah, and that's just, like, one shirt, but then you have, like, all of your clothes hanging and they're all just, like, covered with hundreds of mosquitoes. It's... I have this uh, I have this issue right now around our house where... Um... It just, like, it was snowing pretty bad and then got really hot out of nowhere. So now, like, all of the uh, the wasp are coming out. Ooh, no, and no, no. so, like, whenever I open oh. my uh, my garage door, there's, like, two giant wasp nests on either corner of the garage door. So I, I have to actually, if I want to throw a trash out and put in, like, the actual trash bin, I have to just bolt out there as fast as possible and then cover my ears and run back in. Because if they get near my ears and make the buzzing noise, I'll just lose my shit. So that's my dilemma. That's my dilemma. Not to brag, but these these carry scarlet fever and can kill people. The mosquitoes. That's true. I'm and the Neil was, wins. The Neil, Neil does win. Yeah, <laughs> Neil does win. <laughs> Neil does win. Neil does win. Neil. Uh, okay. All right. I think it's time. I have no idea where we last left off. Per usual. Ah, I remember. Okay. Good. Once upon a time. Um, if I sneeze first, though. Uh-oh. 
No, no, no. So you guys are in Onskar, which is a town to the northwest. You are here because you were trying to retrieve this jade from this, uh, the jade merchant's source up here in Onskar and deliver it back to him in Jade Run. However, coming up here and talking to the, the source you were supposed to get all the jade from, he says that his jade was stolen by a band of orcs. And you have tracked the... You've been taken to the river where all of the jade was stolen from and crossed to the other side and are looking around for the missing jade or the orcs or some sign of one of them. Uh, you had also previously, like two or days ago, seen a pack of orcs that had been traveling west towards the mountains. Now here you are, maybe a, a mile and a half from the foot of the mountains, on the other side of the river, uh, looking around for orc tracks. Oh, that's right, because Jeff got us out <clears throat> of the potential fight with those orcs at the river, right? Yeah. yeah. But then I they robbed like all the jade, and we have to go kill them anyways. Yeah. Well, the jade was robbed before those orcs got there, but yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, Did we get XP? No, I don't think we got XP last session. Uh, no, we did because there was a huge argument over whether you guys should split XP with Jeff for his. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, you were saying. Let me just salty. go get the salt over here. That was during, hold on, that was during the show, but I don't think we, like, totaled it out at the end, though. Yeah, I right? think we did. I don't think we totaled it at the end. But we did see the point. We have, that we have Jeff... 1080 XP, or at least I have 1080. That's XP. what I have written down, too, 1080. Jeff, how much do you have? He's about 1200. 1865. Or what? I have 1285. Yeah, I got like 500 for the last two guys. I think I already gave myself that. that. Oh, you got a ton from the Gladiator Arena. Okay. Yeah, you got a lot yeah. from the Arena. Why do I have 1285? Did you guys not update your sheet? That's probably what it is then. Uh, I, guess I think you guys got some for role playing as like manager and uh, foot betting and stuff like that. I think we did do experience. I have I mean, Je Jeff's so. the only one that has gotten solo XP, right? Right, so everyone else so should have the same. If Jen's at twelve eighty five, we maybe me and JP just didn't write it down. Yeah, why don't you guys just bump yourself to that then? Okay, I'll take the free XP. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can argue. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not, JP. Twelve eighty five. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so we made the deal with that guy, right? Mm hmm. And then he showed us where the orcs were. He showed you where his people had been ripped off from. And that's where, where we're at right now? Yeah. You've just crossed the river to the other side, and you are looking around for orc tracks to see if you can't figure out where these sons of bitches have gone. Um, who's the best tracker in the group? Who's got the highest nature skill? I have a zero. Anyone else? Uh, anyone? It's based off int. Well, my int is 10, so that's not going to help, but I do uh, have... I have nature, too. My nature is 2. Varnoosh oh. probably wins. She has 3 int. Or he has yeah. 3 int. Yeah. Give, me a, give me some nature checks, all of you, nature, while you yeah, hunt around three. looking it's for three. tracks. Is that just d20 plus our modifier? Yes, it is. So if I have 2 in, in, uh, in nature, does that do anything for me? Yeah, it would be a d20 plus 2. Okay. Rocking an eight here, bro. Mr. Varnoosh, you are walking around with everyone else. You still have your, your raccoon, right? Yeah. Yeah, we cool. never mention it, but it, it's just like a <laughs> my... I mean, it's like a horse. We don't talk about horses all the time when we have horses. Like, I know. Varnoosh has a casual raccoon to ride You on. get super boring if I constantly mention that I have two horses for arms. You know what I mean? Like, just... <laughs> everyone knows that. So, you guys are looking around, trying to figure out where these things might have been, and Mr. Varnoosh, you spot a tear of fabric in a, a bush, and you go over and inspect it, and it's it, it has this odor about it, this unforgettable orcish odor. And I'm like, smells like orcs! Friends, come over here! Yeah, I, I scurry over. Is the the guy that we took the job with still here, or is it just no, us? No, I think he, we it's left just you guys. Yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, I I I, I look at the the fabric on uh, before like moving it. Does it just seem like ripped fabric? Yeah, it looks like ripped fabric. There's some um, brownish stains on it. It 
It's a bluish fabric. Uh, it has some brownish reddish stains. It could be blood or it could be dried shit or something else. Okay. Uh, I like it. Can we ex inspect it further or won't it change anything? Won't uh, we? What do like you mean? If we look at the. You said dried blood or shit or whatever. Yeah, yeah, okay. So you inspect it it's, further. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it, so blue fabric on both sides. Outside is kind of reddish brownish. How many mosquitoes um, fly off of it when we move it? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. One, but it's about this big. It's a mm -hmm. huge mosquito. Yeah. Oh god. Um so you pick up the fabric and sniff at it and it definitely doesn't smell like shit. So it might be some sort of dried blood. Uh but it's definitely dry to the touch, so old maybe. Is orc or dried blood, blood the same color as human blood? Yes, it does use oxygen. Hmm. Is uh, I guess I inv investigate like the bush around it. Is there any more? Yeah, poking around the bush, you find uh, not actually another piece of torn fabric, but you do find some soft footprints that are kind of like underneath the bush. Like the orc's foot kicked under and set down, and you have a some a few tracks that you can start to follow. Follow the tracks, comrades. Okay. Yeah, we start walking towards the tracks. Indeed. Okay. I start whistling. The tracks lead you northward, away from the river. They're few and far between, but you, you manage to get just enough of them to keep following the path. Uh, until the, the path seems to come to an actual, an actual path in the forest. Here you see lots of footprints going left and right, although you're coming up to meet it from down below. Um, it seems to be some sort of animal trail, maybe, that a group of people have been using, and you just see a lot of foot traffic going to your left and right. Right, Can we tell which one is more heavily path? More heavily what? trafficked is what he's trying to say. Trafficked path. Um, Can we tell which one has more traffic on it? More popular. Has had more yeah. traffic on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a road. JP, you're gonna make him you're gonna make him rage quit, bro. You gotta you gotta ease Look, up. Don't don't you right. fucking correct me. All right, let's take right. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna punch my desk. <laughs> it, it's a road. So the, the show is, anyway. The the traffic is equal in either direction. Like you're coming into a road. You're not like you're not at a T intersection. You're wandering like from the wilderness onto a road that seems to have pretty steady traffic. Is there one of them going more towards? I think it was west. The in the pack of orcs that we met were traveling west, or not? they were traveling west. Yes. So I would say let's go west if there's one that's west. -er. Yes, yes. The road goes east west, so okay. you can easily hop on the little the little animal trail and head to the west. So I suggest we go for this one. Okay, you hop Except on and, says... and proceed okay. to head out. Uh, da, 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 da. Can I get stealth checks from everybody as you travel slowly through this forest? We're not on horseback, right? Only Varnushas? Only Varnushas on raccoon back. Raccoon back, right. I have a two in stealth. Eleven. I think it's based on your dex, so. And I have dexterity, so is it plus four if I have a two in stealth and is dexterity? It no, it should it just should be have... whatever the score is in dex. Yeah, next to it. You have an eight, but in stealth I have a yes. two. That doesn't that Holy doesn't goodness. stack or anything like that. I'm a thief, man. No, no, no. The <laughs> two in stealth comes from the Damn, two in you have decks. Eight. That's intense. I thought I was intense. Rocking an eight. I fart pretty loudly as I walk through. <laughs> Breasts. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then Barnush goes. Oh. Just at the front, just turning around, just like shut. Barnush got a twenty-two. You don't say anything, man. No, but it's like. <laughs> we can't. We but it can't actually. It sounds like a sparrow. Yeah, we can't determine if it was a sparrow, the raccoon, yeah. or. It seems like it was actually in another animal nearby. The motion of his body actually also sounds like the rustling of leaves. Yep. <laughs> so you're on this path heading westward towards these mountains, and you don't quite see or hear anything until you hear a javelin whistling towards the air, through the air towards you. Who is in point? Probably. Me, I guess. me or or uh, 
Yeah, but I catch it, Neil, and I huck it back at the source from which it came. You know what I mean? You're not Drax the Destroyer. I would say Car Car Karn is our, our default point, man. I would Jeff, catch you know, it. if you were a monk, you could actually catch that at level two. Jesus, that'd be amazing. <laughs> there's That's a higher level for projectile, or there's a level two projectile thing where you can catch them. Oh, oh my what god! What is your what is your armor class, Mister Karn? Fifteen, bro. Fifteen. The javelin sails through the air and lands in your shoulder, dealing you a whopping nine points of damage. Mm, I'm glad I volunteered to be in the front, guys. This, <laughs> this has been great. <laughs> What's your max? Thirty-four. Uh, I was at thirty-four. So I'm at twenty-five. So wow. as it slams into my shoulder, I turn to the group and say, "Javelin, <clears throat> shoulder." Do we see anything? Uh, yeah, you see possible. an initiative roll in your future. Hmm. All right. Oh, I like it. Do it up. Uh, 12. Improved from Can six. Can I just say, Neil, that your character sheets for 5th edition are much better than the stock ones? I just throw oh, that out I'll there. Play. Thank you. I didn't really like the stock ones, so I decided to make my own. Uh, are we rolling initiative? Yep. Yeah. Okay. As this sticks me, by the way, I turn towards where it came from, and I start shaking with rage. Okay. As a bonus action on your turn, you mean? Oh, you don't get to just rage? No, it's a bonus action that you take on your turn. I accept these um, parameters, Neil. Perfect. I'm Can very glad. <laughs> <laughs> I agree to your rule set, DM. Oh, Neil... <laughs> Just to make sure I remember clearly, we did get our two pets, right? Neil and uh, Ryan and I? I believe you... We respawned uh, Sir George Batman and... Uh... I, I never Ryan died, has I, I, have a, I have an amp, yes. Isn't that, that reminds me, Neil, isn't there like yeah. a special rule that there's a 50% chance the raccoon jumps in front of any damage taken from the group? It is a trustful animal. That is true. He's very uh, I, I suicidal. think that's it. Yeah. Barnoosh's raccoon. <laughs> um... <laughs> I don't actually remember if we resummoned yours, Jen. Yeah, we did. I remember because I I <laughs> see that I have less money on my character sheet, and I remember going through all the the process. I feel with Ryan. Very that's how we got the imp. We went. We got. It. We. That's when we summoned them the first time. Yeah. Yes, we did do it in the town back there. I don't know if yours died or whatever. No, no, no. That was a long time ago that mine died. Yeah, Neil. We did. We did uh, summon ours at the same time last episode. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, cool. and I, remo I removed the money from my At the Razor or whatever? Yeah. Right, right, right. Razors. All right, so then you Razors, both have yeah. yours. Um, you see out in front of you two orcs drop out of trees onto the ground to get a more clear shot, each one hurling a javelin at Karn, who's in front. Nope. <clears throat> Ooh. Jeff, you got a new character in mind? Always. <laughs> His name one is... javelin falls short, landing in the mud at your feet. The other one sails over your shoulder and skims Mr. Varnoosh with no damage to him. Leaving us with Karn's <laughs> There are uh, two orcs standing about 30 feet down the road from you. <laughs> oh, Neil. Did you just say about 30 feet? About 30 feet, yeah. Are we guessing they're <laughs> slightly outside of 30 feet? <laughs> so that I cannot run up to them and attack them in the same turn? No, they, they're with... They're precisely 30 feet because that is the range of their javelins. Ooh, I like this. Very symmetrical. Get up to them. Get up to them. Then uh, can I take my half action where I tremble with rage, pee myself just a little bit and run at them and attack one? Yes, yes. These are all okay. acceptable things. Then I just kind of run ah! towards them. And okay. I'll make my first attack roll in a month, which means my memory is completely reset. I think it's d20 plus 6. Probably. Right? Something like that. It's 13. 4, 5, or 6. 13. All right. You take a swing at the orc <clears throat> as Mr. Varnoosh's raccoon leaps in way and takes the blow. Can you roll for damage? <laughs> Goes, <laughs> severed in half. Oh, wait, what? Why should you do that <laughs> raccoon? <laughs> uh, but seriously, you hit him. Roll for damage. Oh, wow. Oh, I, I thought know, that was armor. real. I was just like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's 1d12 plus 6 then, because I'm rage. So he takes yeah. 12, 12 damage. That is enough to bring the orc down. He collapses <laughs> into a heap at the ground. Turn! Leaving us with Dante. All right. Uh, there's one left, correct? Yes. He's standing like 10 feet to Karn's right. 
Okay, I would like to hit him with the, the trusty Eldritch Blast. Okay. That is... Uh... Ah! Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back, baby. Welcome back. Give me a, give me a flat D20, Mr. Dante. Okay. Ryan, uh... As, you hit your player. As oh, yeah! Whoa. Welcome back! We back, baby! Once in 20. <laughs> Ryan is always min-maxing. Crazy. You <laughs> hip thrust an Eldritch Blast at the orc, but your aim is a little off, and you end up hitting a tree, but it makes a pretty cool pattern on the tree. Look at like a big dong just up and down the front of it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, which leaves us to Amos. Yeah, I take a shot uh, with my short bow for 24. That is definitely a hit. Now, hold on. Uh, I got to look at some. There's no sneak attack here because there's no mob near it. Do I have... Uh, yeah, I'm 10 feet away from him. Do I have exactly have advantage on the... I don't have advantage. Mm -mm. Uh, do I have... Do I... Oh! Th these guys haven't taken a turn in combat yet, right? Yes, they have. Oh, they the shit. This guy went at me. Okay, never mind. Uh, what's the damage here? D6 plus 4. 7. Nice whopping 7 points of damage as the orc takes the arrow to the gut. Leaving us with Varnoosh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, I know, Varnoosh is lame and is going to cast Mage Armor so that I activate my Abjuration uh, Protection Ward spell too. A blue shimmering light surrounds Mr. Varnoosh for a moment and there's a bing as his Abjuration thingy, whatever it is, is triggered. Yeah. Uh, which leaves us back to the Orc's turn. He gives Orc. a growl and turns and runs towards the uh, towards the mountainside. Uh, I would like to chuck a, a javelin at him. Yeah, can we just take a shot? Yeah. Um, he is 60 feet away from from Karn and 90 feet away from everyone else. Like 90 he to... that fast? He was 10 feet away from me. He was 10 feet like to your right, and now he's taken two his move and then his action is a move again. So a double move away from you. So well, I can throw 60. 120. Okay. With disadvantage, though. Yeah. Is that what that is? Okay. Yeah, but then you have back attack on him, so that cancels out the disadvantage. So Just that's a normal attack. attack. Yeah, yeah. So I, I leave my two-handed axe embedded in the stinking mass of orc, and then I pull out one of my javelins, and I fucking huck it. A d20 plus six for a 17, which is a hit. You genius. Which... You. Does 1d6 plus 4. Uh, uh, plus so 6 because of rage. Six. Yeah. Yep. So he's super dead, I'm guessing. 11. Nice. Your javelin lands in the base of his back and he keels over. Lands face first on the dusty road in front of you. Uh, assuming the javelin in my shoulder is the same, I pull that out and use that to restock. Yeah. It's. I mean, it's practically identical. Uh, Stat-wise, it's identical. It just looks more like a more orcish javelin. It's a little bit more... Like, the, the haft is less well-made. It's got some, like, furs wrapped around it and, like, some shit dangling off the end of it. And the the head looks more orcish style. Okay. Okay. And I'm sitting there kind of still seething. I pick up my axe and I'm wiping it down. But I was like, is there more? We don't see any more, right? You do not see anymore. I would like to um, send my my imp, my invisible imp, out to scout. Oh, I'll go with uh, Sir George Batman too. So he goes. Nah, 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 nah. So you can see through your imp's eyes as long as it's within a hundred feet of you, right? Um, I don't think I have the. Uh, I haven't specced into sharing senses with him. I thought so, that was just a standard familiar thing that you could do. Uh, that, I'm not sure. Am I crazy? Exactly what it is. CD. Find familiar. Find familiar. Find steed. Uh, while your familiar is within 100 feet of you, you communicate with it telepathically. Additionally, as an action, you can see through your familiar's eyes and hear what it hears until the start of your next turn. 
Gaining okay. the benefits of any special senses the familiar has. During this time, you are blind and deaf with regard to your own senses. So yeah, okay. you can scout out ahead with it and literally just like look through its eyes and see through its ears. Sweet. Hear Let's through its that. ears. Weird. You are not synesthetic. Um, so, scouting around, looking around, trying to see what's up ahead of you guys. You... Well, actually, within 100 feet, there's nothing. There's just the orc body. But you can proceed down the road and use the, the familiars to scout ahead even further. Okay. We okay. do that. Okay. Um, you guys... Well, first, let's loot the bodies. Oh. I'm flat broke, so that's kind of on my mind now. <laughs> Is your nose still giant? Oh, uh, yeah. The mole I think it's gotten bigger. Mole. All right, you have that mole. That's mole right. is uh, a big, nasty thing. The hairs girls. keep growing out of it. It, you know, produces a weird odor and a lot of oils. Mm. It's it's kind of gross. You yeah. should grow a mullet to distract people. So when they go, oh, you got a mole, and you can go like mullet. <laughs> Still got laid, bro. Still got laid. <laughs> Still got laid. Doesn't matter had sex. <laughs> okay. I think my nose is big. <laughs> There's all kinds of lines, man. Yep. <laughs> so you loot the bodies and you find four, five, six, seven silver on one of them, and the other has eleven silver. Okay. Well, Ryan just pockets that, I assume. Yeah. I'm yep. cool with it shuffling yep. towards the poor man. Cool. And then you guys proceed. Uh, tell me how you how you proceed down this road. What is your marching order? What are you are you tromping loudly, trying to scare animals away? Are you trying to be as stealthy as possible? Are you waving fire whips around you and doing a, a ritualistic <laughs> sex dance? Well, I guess my rage calms down after the allotted time, which I think is like four minutes or something like that, or ten. Something. So I start uh, calming down, I'm guessing, before the next conflict. Um, otherwise, as we're walking, I'm kind of holding my, my wound and just trying to, like, I patch it up with dirt because I'm a barbarian that knows that kind of shit, like mud. But I'm still in the front, and I think we're walking <clears throat> fairly quietly. But we have scouts ahead of us, like Sir Batman and a mm -hmm. uh, Gollum, don't we? Is that what his name was? What is your imp's name, Rhyme? Uh, Did you not I don't name think I've it? I don't think I've named him. Oh, I'm not too familiar yet with him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get it? I uh, wasn't even intended. That just that's how my mind works. It just it's brilliant. Just always punning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I'll have I'll have my imp in front, invisible, but I won't be seeing through his uh, eyes. Boner. Just telling him to through oh. his boner. Yeah. I'll just tell him to report if he sees anything that could be a threat. Okay. I'm in uh, I'm in like the bushes on the side of the road, just walking forward, walk like adjacent to the party. But otherwise, you guys are all kind of proceeding normally down the road, using the the familiars to scout. Sure. Correct. Yeah. Okay. The familiars do not scout anything down the road until you come all the way to the foot of the mountain. Now, at this area where the mountain comes down to meet the ground it's a very sudden change it's kind of like the ground is slightly hilly and slightly inclined but then you come to a point where there's a sheer vertical cliff of granite solid granite wall in front of you um, with the exception of a staircase carved into the front of it that has a door embedded like two or three steps down door made of wood door made of wood uh, the tracks leading into that, I assume? Yes. <laughs> For some reason, I really just want to light a torch, because that's all I want to do, and I want to get inside of, or get people outside of buildings like this, but it never works. It never <laughs> works. Uh, how tall is it? The, the cliff? Yeah. The door. Well, both. The door, or the... So the mountain is thousands of feet tall. By definition, mountain has to be at least 2,000 feet tall, so okay. it's very, very large. Um, the door itself is roughly, roughly man-sized, maybe a little bit smaller. Um, like it was sized for smaller people or very, very large dwarves or something. Um, yeah, so it's like, it's like a six foot doorway. So you can walk in, but it's, you know, uncomfortably low. Looks like a pretty, uh, traveled path 
leading to the door or no? No, I mean this this looks like a small footpath that is used by a small group of creatures. Um, it's definitely well out of the way of anything normal. Uh, in... So I, I'm sorry, I might have missed the description. So we walk to the bottom of a mountain, and there's a door at the bottom of this, and then the mountain scales up, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, I turn. Dante, do we know your familiar exists as a party? <clears throat> Yeah, when you spawn it, does it come out near you, or is it just like... I, I, I know Varnoosh knows for sure, yeah. and I think we announced that we were going to do that, so I think everyone does know. Yeah. So you may may not have ever seen it before. Okay. I, I guess I, I'm just like, Dante, can you send that thing, because we don't know the name, <laughs> to knock on the door while I'm visible? Um, Neil, it's only attacks that turn them uninvisible, correct? Like Correct. opening doors so, that, does that actions. opening doors will not turn you uninvisible. Okay. Uh, knocking on a door will not turn it uninvisible. But maybe if your familiar rages and starts beating on the door, it would go uninvisible. Yeah. If it beats just yet anything, doors. Meat. I mean Meat. you can beat anything with nipples, so Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> just... Uh is there like a, a little a little hideout outside, like trees or anything, or is it sort of bare around where we're No, no, at? no. This is a heavily forested area. Heavily uh, forested. If you weren't on this path or directly following the, the mountain edge itself, you probably would never notice this place existed. It's very okay. well hidden. Um, if we want, we can, we can take up a post, and he can sort of open the door, and we can look to see if anything comes out. Yeah, I say to the rest of the party. Yeah, that's the all right. Intention. So, um, yeah, we we take up like a little hiding spot around the door, and I instruct the imp to open the door and then come I'd back. Like How big is your imp? Um, is he big I think it's to open just, the door. So the way I understand it is that it is a familiar, but it takes the the form of an imp, but it's not actually an imp. Right, but I mean, is it? Does it is it large enough to actually open? But the if, door? It, if 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 you're talking about just imp, I would just look in the monster manual and go by those those guidelines because I'm pretty sure it's in there. Okay, I'm looking for imps. Imp, 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 imp. Right. What were you about to say, Jen? I was gonna say I want to send out uh, Sir George Batman to just do like the, you know, like fly around the top of the house to surround to make sure that there's no like back door. Surprise! What house? I thought this was a house for some reason. It's not Under Armour. Like no, it's, it's a generally speaking, everything is their house yep. on the side of a mountain. Oh well, I guess I he flies around the mountain then. Yeah, the only thing that would matter with the imp, like he can, it 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 is able to fly, but I guess if it wasn't strong enough to open the door, would be my only concern. I I just want him to knock. That's to make some loud noises at the door. Okay, he's a small creature with six strength. That should be enough to open a door. You don't need... Alright, so he buzzes about for a little while uh, around the door and then goes up to it, puts his invisible clawed hands on the handle and goes... <coughs> and shoves the door open. There's a loud... <coughs> as the door squeaks open... Uh, revealing the rest of the staircase that descends below. And the imp invisible still hovers in front of the doorway. Okay. So we can just wait like a couple minutes to see if anything comes up to the surface. Sure. Is that what we do? That That's yep. what I want to do, yeah. 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 Uh, you wait around for a few moments. How long do you wait? Is it a five minutes? Five minutes, yeah. Okay. Five minutes pass, and it's just just the sound of birds chirping and crickets cricketing, other nature sounds. You hear a waterfall somewhere off in the distance. What time of day is it? One-ish? Yeah, yeah, somewhere in the afternoon. Is it dark in there? Yes, there seems to be no source of light. Okay, then I'll send George Batman in there. He can see, What's or closed? whatever, echolocation. Oh, it's it's still closed. I thought 
The imp no, opened the, the, the door. door's open. Oh, I yeah. didn't realize the imp opened it. Oh. Yeah. It opened it. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so Batman, go. All right, Batman goes down inside. And the bats, you say, have infravision and can see in the yeah. dark? Yeah. Okay. They have, like, make... sonar thing. Echolocation. Yeah, sonar. Echolocation, yeah. Oh, wow. That would make sense. JP's the Batman. All right. yeah, I didn't want to talk about it or reveal it, but yeah. It's true. <laughs> in the next movie. <laughs> yeah. Ben Affleck bowed out and it was J.P. McDaniel. Yeah, it's just like a, a, a slightly overweight Batman just sitting there with the suit on. <laughs> Stomach's like poking out of the front. I would love a picture of you hey like, guys. looking down like Ben Affleck in the suit. Like, <laughs> gotta fight Superman. One of the suit. ears is floppy while the other one's like straight up. <laughs> anyway, that's some fan art. Someone make it. The bat proceeds into the cave, into the, the area, and starts to flutter about. The staircase goes down... 20 feet and then it levels out into a straight shot um and that goes where is that thingy? um that proceeds to the end of the bat's vision he's got 60 f feet of dark vision but that still requires some amount of light um so he can fly down the this hallway for about 60 feet and then see it, the, the hallway splits into two with a door in front of it and some statues on either side of the door. What but are the statues? But he doesn't need right sound, now. right? He, or uh, sight. He just... He has a radar, basically, right? Um, it's... The game counts it as blind sight. So... Neil, what, uh, are you going to be ruled by the game or are we, gonna, are we talking a bat here? No, I'm, hold on, it's blind sight, not dark vision. I'm mistaking my two things. Yeah, he can totally see all sorts of shit. How does a game define blind sight? Um, so, it's like, if I'm a pod of whales, Neil, I don't care if it's in D&D &D or not, I sing my song and people know my song. You know what I'm saying? A mm -hmm. pod of whales? They sing songs together, yeah. <laughs> I don't understand this reference. You gotta get your whale reference. Whales come in pods, man. Yeah, they come in pods and they sing songs together. What, you know about echolocation, but you don't know about sperm whales and killer whales? <laughs> no. Yeah, no. That's kind of what it makes. sounds like a little bit. Yeah. No, it's... The whale song. I don't understand what the analogy is for, but I do know that whales sing songs. There's no analogy! <laughs> I thought you were making some kind of an analogy. You're going to get the no. chat all excited about whale if hype. And Dungeons I've already... and Dragon doesn't have the whale song in it. I, I hypothesize you should still talk about their song, despite the rules. We know whales sing. We know bats oh, yeah. use sonar location or echolocation or whatever. Yeah, so your bat can see in total darkness, no problems, as long as it can hear. Oh, well, so, <laughs> yeah, you don't even know what you've done, Jeff. You don't even know. Your, your bat proceeds down the hallway uh, into the, the cavern. And here we go for you, Jen. I'm just going to... Is Jen and uh, Ryan having like a seizure while their things were looking like they're looking? Yeah, what does it look like when you guys are doing this? Yeah. My guy I'm... went to the door and came back, so he's just chilling with us. But her guy, I would I'm... imagine it's like the Game of Thrones. You know, the eyes go back and. Does your demon just like sit there and like smoke and tell shitty jokes? Like <laughs> he's, he's invisible, but yes, he's doing that. <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> you how can I just hear the it. very faint causing zapping sound. Yeah. Yeah. He masturbates about eight times a day. So <laughs> in the corner of the fucking room, you just, you just hear like yeah. the slight. You can't see slapping. him, but just every once in a while you see, yeah. and it just sports out. What? Oh god! <laughs> what the fuck was that? Someone's like, <laughs> Neil, I swear to God, great. Right, Neil just fell out of his chair. And no one's noticing no, this. I didn't fall out of my chair. I got stuck on a cord. What? <laughs> Shut up. He loves jerk off jokes. Oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna um, watch the instant. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> straight over. Oh god. Uh, Jen, go <laughs> ahead and you you have access to move your bat, which is gonna be represented by Mr. Varnoosh, around, but make sure that it is never more than a hundred feet from the entrance of the cave. Right now, I only see black. That's what you tell us. That's not right. Yeah. Oh oh oh! You're talking about in roll twenty. Yeah. In roll 20. 
Also, What's... I'd like to illustrate how my character looks when he's in that vision. Okay. Yeah. So, it... yes, his eyes are rolling back a little bit, and I'd like to imagine that his usually curly, glorious mustache kind of just like straightens out a little bit, as if it was electrical a little bit. It's like... Oh. She's like... Uh, Jin, maybe zoom and out and scroll face. to the right. Scroll to the right. Uh, nope, still all black Jen. for... Oh, okay. No, it no. should be all black for everyone except for Jen. No, it's... Oh, 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 oh. Wait, I see the group. That's all I see, though. I just see the oh, yeah, corridor the group. with the group. You don't... See... Yeah, but you see a corridor, right? Am I moving... I'm moving... Yes. Right now. Oh, okay, yes. now it's working. Okay, we fixed it. It's working. Broken. All right, just make sure you never move more than 100 feet from the entrance to the cave. So here you are, 50 plus 20 beyond that is 70. So you can move about 30 feet from there. And that's as far as you can see for your bat. Okay, so first I will say, ooh, I see, well, straight up ahead, there are two statues. What are the statues, Neil? Are they looking like anything familiar? They look like large, broad men with long beards. Um, actually, you're at you're a halfling, right? Yeah. No, no. Yeah. You're a gnome. gnome? Okay, yeah. you're close enough. Uh, you recognize these as very oversized dwarves. These statues Ooh. are about five feet tall, much taller than any dwarf that's ever existed, and they look to be carved in the likeness of dwarves. They have heavy armor on. One of them has a hammer in its hand. The other has an axe. I see two big sculptures of dwarves. Let me explore some more. Okay. Uh, uh, is that the that's, hun- No, you I can't go any I- farther than that. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't really... Do, would I know anything of the area about dwarven uh, history around here? Can I make an intelligence roll or something like that? Um, yeah. I mean, it's going to be a terrible roll, but... Stop sneaking ahead, Jen. I didn't. Yes, you did. Uh... Um, Give me an intelligence check. Yeah, eight. <laughs> well, you know that dwarves exist around here. The town that you guys were in, whose name is escaping me right now. Wasn't it mostly at... dwarven? Yes. Uh, the town... That's where oh, that gnome town. talked to us for days and we just let it go on, right? Yeah, the Onskar is initially a dwarven town, or it was a dwarven town. It links to some dwarven shit underground. So there are a lot of dwarves in this area. Historically, there were more. Uh, the dwarven population has since dwindled. You're not sure why. You don't really know. But you know this used to be a big dwarven stronghold, and now it's mostly human. Um, I tell that to the party that this might be some ancient dwarven runes, and the orcs perhaps might be making use of it as a stronghold or something like that. Maybe we should explore. It doesn't seem to have anyone down there. I can't see too far because I reached so, the top. We can we can follow behind the familiars. I think we'll be pretty safe. Yes. Yeah, yes. We keep we them can. on I point. have some kind of night vision as well. I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have infra vision or whatever because you're an order. Dark vision. Yes, but it still requires some source of light. So once you get within the cave, if there's no source of light, you will become useless. Okay. Well, I think. I think we just <laughs> carry the light in our heart, then. You know, as long as we have that. <laughs> I think we decide. Actually, do I have Infravision too as a halfling? You didn't take the planet Captain Planet class, so that doesn't really work out. <laughs> I guess. I guess halflings don't have dark vision or whatever. I don't think they do. Okay. Uh, well, regardless, I think we decide as a group that we all want to go down there, and we start heading towards the door. Okay, you guys head towards the door. Can we take it a break is- as we go in? Let's do it. Does that work for you? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll take a break and we'll come back and uh, find out what's in the dwarven room. So we'll see you guys in just a bit. More we'll play song coming up right after this. <laughs> 